I'm standing in the lobby of the Delaney Hotel. It's a new boutique hotel in Orlando's Soto District. And with the hotel comes a new restaurant, Delaney's Tavern. Let's go check it out. Hey, Greg. Hey, Scott. I've been waiting a long time for this place to open. Oh, me too. Well, what have you got planned today? Let me have the chef show you a few dishes we've prepared. Let's go to the tasting table. The genesis of the name comes from the neighborhood, Delaney Park. And so we're a new American tavern featuring a very social dining environment with small plates and shareables. The flavors that the chefs put together really represent every cultural uh, corner of the earth. Hey, Scott. Hello. For our first course here today, we have our beef tenderloin tartare. It's on top of crostinis with Madeira braised clamshell mushrooms and pearl onions. Fried capers tossed in a truffle aioli, zested with a cured egg yolk. Uh, a little bit something about this dish is most tartars are actually deconstructed. Right. This one I actually constructed it. I kind of made it the way I would like to eat it. So you can get every bite in your hand. Sounds good. All right, enjoy. Thank you. I'm a sucker for good steak tartare. You know, most people think of it as just simply chopped steak, but there are a lot of components that go into it. This one has an added advantage. No assembly required. Hey, what do we have here? We got our blue crab beignets with an apple fennel slaw. Typically from New Orleans, these are a little bit savory. They're filled with blue crab, mascarpone, chive, and shallot. And it comes with an apple fennel slaw. Great. All right, enjoy. Thank you. You know, if you're familiar with the beignets, the little donuts, you can feel that texture. But instead of the powdery sugar, these are, are savory, but there is sweetness. The crab meat is so sweet and it's all so very light. These are good. Hey, Scott. Our final dish here is a main entree of scallop shrimp and grits. The grits are actually local from Jacksonville. The farm is called Congri and Penn. They've been open for about five years. And I always get a lot of questions as to why the grits are purple because the corn is purple. And then you have some tasso ham there with the sun-dried tomato cream sauce. Smells wonderful. Absolutely, enjoy. Thank you. Shrimp and grits is one of the most overdone items on menus all over town. Everybody has it on their menu. This one is different, not just because they've added the scallops to go with the shrimp and grits. The grits themselves are different. They're purple. It's not just the color. They taste good too. We waited a long time for Delaney's Tavern to open, but it was worth the wait. It's a casual, comfortable place where you just want to come in and maybe hang out, have a cocktail or a glass of wine, but it has the added advantage of having really good food, too. It's elegantly casual. We wanted a tavern that the neighbors would frequent as their go-to restaurant after work or special nights out. Um, almost like a Cheers type environment where you know people know your name. We wanted that for the, the residents of the Soto District and Delaney Park. What do I think of Delaney's? Uh... Well, uh, everybody knows your name. What more could you ask for, huh? Lori? Inside Central Florida, your source for events, theme park news, local eats, and more, streaming 24-7 on the WFTV Now app on your TV.